Okay, so the last and final exercise that you're going to do this week in preparation for your self-portrait. By the way, this is what Art 3 is doing. They're doing a double self-portrait, throwing uh, sun and throwing shade. So that's Art 3. So they're doing portraits too. But you are going to do <clears throat> um, drawing from a mirror. Oh my God, I hope my, I can find a pencil that isn't broken. It's like really unprofessional. Okay, so, oh, this one's broken too. Okay, well, let's just face it. I'm gonna have to sharpen this one. So I'm gonna sharpen it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is analyze. So um, it's really easy to just go into a portrait and start with the eye and just go and try and like finish it. But like I kind of talked about when we did the skull, the first thing you wanna do is, um, and you can use any size paper. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just, I just grabbed a piece of paper that I have. I'm gonna start with a circle looking at my face. I'm gonna start with a circle. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and look at my jawline. It's interesting because I don't have a little jaw. I have like a big, a big honking jaw. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's true. I just have a little honking down here. Um, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find the accurate place where my neck is. One of the biggest things that we screw up on when we do drawings is we make our necks way too small. And then we look like, um, like a doll or something. So it's important to look, use observation um, when you're doing your underdrawing and, and really kind of figure out <clears throat> where your neck comes and where your jaw comes out. And then I want you to go ahead and you're doing a, this is a study. So this is an underdrawing with a line drawing on top. And so we're just gonna be analyzing our faces so right down the middle, our face is somewhat symmetrical, um, remembering that, you know, the nose is usually around here, right? This is usually where the nose is. Usually just a little bit below that center line. Usually your eyebrows are here. And then your mouth is usually here. I'm using direct observation. And when I look at, like, for example, when I look at where my ear is, it's just right here, and then it comes up, uh, comes up there and meets there. Um, when I look at my other ear, it's the exact same place. So I'm going to do this. I'm still analyzing, so I am not ready to, to, to say, yes, that's where it is. I'm going to start with my nose. I'm going to kind of locate the nostrils. I am looking at these two sides um, because I'm older. I luckily have, you guys are kind of don't have like little weird lines and stuff to kind of help you um, stay in the right place. I'm gonna put that there and then noticing my chin, noticing that my chin is just a little bit are oh, you doing a lesson? Like, yeah, a little bit longer a and a little bit bigger. You're recording yeah. a lesson? I am. You're recording a lesson? I am. Am I interrupting? Yes. Okay. And so here I am, and then I'm going here. Will I be interrupting if I play make mac and cheese? You will be. I if you could that. just wait a few minutes. No, it's going to be quiet. Like, uh-huh. So, and I am going to bring up... So, and you just have to keep looking at your, the proportions on your face to make sure you get everything in the right place. So again, one of the key things, like the key kind of uh, universal rules of the portrait is where the nostrils end is where the eye begins. So when I look at where my eye begins, it's pretty much there. And remember, I'm going to start with kind of a using observation I'm going to look here and then the edge of my face I made a little too big surprisingly enough I always make my faces really big because it's so funny because we make our faces kind of the way we emotionally feel about my our, ourselves so I emotionally feel like I have a giant huge face so I end up making my face really super huge and giant so there is the eye and then there is 
the other eyelid. And then there is pupil, and this goes down like that. And then here are the glasses. Spencer's bombing my class, you guys. It's so rude. Yeah, he bombing. And then um, here I'm gonna come up, and I'm I'm just placing the um. <laughs> Placing where my eyeglasses are. Um, looking at so and and now I'm going back and making corrections because trying to make everything in the right place. I'm still analyzing. I am still analyzing this stuff. So um, I'm coming down and then I'm going to put my other. So there it goes. So there's that. And I have my other eyebrow here. Okay, so I am going to take a look. And what I'm doing is checking my proportions. So if my if I look at my mouth in the mirror and I bring a line up, it's right here, the shape of my eye is where that, that is, yep. eyebrows here, edge of the face here, is there, chin, neck, hair, that's my stupid earring thing, my gauge thing, and here's my other one. Now I'm going to um, take a pencil, a darker pencil. Unfortunately, I only have a black colored pencil, so that's what I'm gonna use, but you can use a darker pencil. You wanna get out of this value. So when you do your drawing on top, you can use colored pencil, you can use pen, you can use, you know, I'm using a black colored pencil just because it's the easiest thing. And now I'm gonna look at my face. And I'm not gonna be doing value um, just yet. We're gonna be doing value study next week. I'm just gonna give you the three warm up exercises, which you can do. You know, uh, it, I encourage you to do it more than once to really uh, study your face and learn about your face. So I'm just gonna go in here and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna look. I want to really get that right and I'm going to have my neck here, but it, it, there's hair there. So my hair is wet. I just got out of the bath. I was, it's Sunday night and I was like, Ooh, I got to push out a new project on Monday and I don't have my final video done for art two. So I just got out of the bath and I came out to like come and and do that. I'm gonna bring that eyeglass there. And then I'm gonna bring that up there and that hits my nose there. And then my nostril is there. And then I'm gonna, my glasses come up here and they come down here and it comes over and then it comes up and out and down and down. Then I'm gonna look at my lip. So my bow is getting flatter, I think, as I get older. Some things change as you get older. And it's, it's, you know, some of the things, you know, we do these self-portraits and a lot of us just really avoid it because of the inside stuff that comes up when we look at ourselves. Man, I've had years and periods in my life where I have just been like, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at myself. I don't wanna do a self-portrait. I don't wanna 
see what I look like. And now, I don't know, now that I'm older, I'm just kind of like, mm -hmm. okay, and then we come up. And then here's my other ear. It is covered by hair. So, but I'm just putting it in there to, cause I want to really analyze like what's what. Um, then I'm gonna come in here and do the glasses. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come over here and kind of do, I'm growing out my bangs and it has not, I'm seriously, it has not been easy. So I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at the way my individual eye looks. It's really, really easy to um, be generic about this and stop looking. But I'm gonna push you um, the best I can online to not do that. Look at how your eye fits inside the white of the eye. Look at how the skin is wrapping around your eye. I see my eyebrow up here. So I'm just going to put it in. It actually goes all the way to the side of my face. I have a scar in my eyebrow from a car accident. So I want to make sure and have that in there. And then this one I see over here. Actually my hair. And I have a really tame hairstyle tonight, let me tell you. My hair is um, kind of covering that other eyebrow. Spencer! Your mac and cheese! And then I'm going to come out what is it and doing? come around. What is it doing? It's bubbling over and then Fuck. I'm going to do that. Ah. Don't cuss because I'm doing school. Oh, oh shit. Don't cuss, I'm doing oh, sorry, school. Because I just spent all this time doing this and I want to redo it because you like F bombed my class. It's fine. What class is it? It's art two. Do I know anyone in that class? No. No one? It's two art two classes, so it's about 60 kids. So here I have my underdrawing. And then I'm just going to quickly. Find my pupil and the outside. And then I'm gonna find this pupil and this outside. And then I'm going to color in my glasses. Color in my glasses. There's that. That one, and then I'm going to color in this one, that one, that one. And then I'm going to finish doing my hair. I think I'm going to um, do just a teeny bit of valuing, not value, not shading with a light source, but just doing a little bit of values to kind of set things in place. So where the, the eyeball kind of rounds through, I'm gonna put some there and then I'm gonna put some shadow here, eyebrow there. What? What Spencer? I'm not doing anything. Am I distracting your glasses? No, it's fine. I'm trying to make a mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Call my name. I'm sure my kids are like, oh, that's interesting over Miss Jones and her boring lesson. What? So. No one thinks you're boring. Everyone thinks you're a great teacher. I don't know. I know. I know everyone thinks you're a great teacher. Well, when you come, oh, your, your, your students are gonna hear my compliment. Mm hmm. They're gonna be like, yeah, 100%. So, in here is the rest of my. Can you please not do that? <laughs> so, then my. um. So, I'm probably gonna leave it like this. So, for me, you know, I've gotta be honest. I've got some. I've got some lines going on up in here. So, I'm gonna put those in. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna make myself like some little doll. 
I'm gonna draw what's there. I'm gonna be honest. Respect. So there's that. And I'm not gonna do any more shading for tonight. But here is my line drawing. And then next week, that's when we start doing value study. But this is kind of like your third exercise, an underdrawing with a drawing on top. So that is where you wanna go. Hmm. And I'm gonna stop the video and have it ready for you tomorrow.